Hello, Larry Paul with the American Institute of Pyramid Research. We're a not-for-profit think tank registered in the state of Illinois. Just finished uh, over a week's worth of intensive research in Giza and other places in Egypt. Getting ready to return to the States today. So uh, a couple things. Number one, I want to invite you on my Orion Correlation Tour next month, April 19th through 25th. I've got two spots left. The time to sign up is uh, shrinking, but uh, that's something uh, you adventurers, you students of the pyramids, students of the constellations, you're gonna wanna come on this one. The Orion Correlation Tour, we look at all the stars of the constellation Orion and where they come on Egyptian soil. No one has done this that I'm aware of in the world. I wish someone else had so I could have someone to talk with, share ideas, but in my research, I could only find Robert Baval's belt theory. You know, the three pyramids in Giza correspond to the three belt stars in the constellation Orion. That's the Orion correlation theory. So I wrote a book called Enoch, the Egyptian New Orion Connection Hypothesis that extends the Orion correlation theory. And I came up with some conclusions from this study that I never intended when I went in. You know, that's if you're an independent researcher, that's what you want to happen. You want your research to lead you to conclusions, and it, and it did. And I think they're profound, and they go beyond just looking at pyramids from the fourth dynasty. That's part of it. That's the archaeology, the history, but we also found some sociology. You know, the modern places where stars come because some of the stars in Orion come down to pyramids but some don't where do they come down I went to all of them the things I find I found I think are incredible so come on that tour we're gonna camp out in Fayum watch the stars of Orion in a way that you can't see them anywhere else out in the desert where there's no you know external light um, also made some finds inside the Great Pyramid on the coffer, the famous coffer that's inside the King's Chamber. Uh, Robert Grant had a research tour at the same time that AIP did. We came to a lot of the same conclusions on some things. Robert found some profound uh, markings inside the Great Pyramid. And I also have learned to start interpreting some of the symbols on the outside of the Great Pyramid that are markers, that are really bearing fruit. It's like when you start to crack a code, you know it, because you apply it here, you apply it there, and hey, you're starting to get something, and I think I've really done that. So I've got my field notes, I've got you know my the things that I observed, that I photographed, got to take them back to the drawing board, and if you continue to follow this channel, you're gonna see, you're gonna see what we got. You're going to see that uh, there are still things to be discovered 4,500 years later on the Giza Plateau. Things, clues left by the original builders and designers. You know, uh, someone uh, gave me uh, this picture. You know, when you come to Egypt, they always like to take you to a papyrus store and show you the, you know, the genuine papyrus. And of course, this is the, uh, the scene of the weighing of the heart. You know, you've got... Uh, Thoth there, and you've got the, the, the heart being weighed against the feather of truth. And you know, uh, I think the Egyptians lived closer to the reality of the spirituality of a life connected to the beyond, you know, to, to not just living the mundane. You know, you can watch the news in America and you'll, you'll see a sports score, you'll hear a, a president talk, you'll hear a, hear a presidential candidate talk but very few references to the weighing of the heart. And so much of uh, you know, Egyptian hieroglyphics, Book of the Dead, has to do with, uh, while they do have you know, scenes of daily life and that kind of thing, there's this conscious, constant realization that we have a, an answer to give to, to the Creator. You know, they gave him different names, Ptah, you know, Osiris, the, you know, there's you can unpack the, the you know the godhead of Egypt in, in a number of ways, but I think that ultimately 
those were just different symbols they used, and many Egyptians, I think, understood this to, to represent the god that's greater than Thoth or Osiris. So, I think that Egypt properly understood and the things we can unpack from inside the Great Pyramid, which we did, and the, the pointers on the outside that I think we're finding, I think there's every reason to believe that it'll have an application, a meaning, beyond the mundane. So uh, stay tuned to our channel, watch for the outpouring of, of uh, findings that, that we made while we were here this week. And let me make one final appeal on the Orion Correlation Tour. You're going to come to Egypt, it's Egypt. We're going to have a felucca ride on the Nile. There'll be a dinner cruise. We're going to camp out in the Fayum Oasis. You're going to stay in a five-star hotel. Unless you want to, I've done something different, unique, I think, that other tour operators in Egypt don't do. I've given you a choice to dial in. You can dial in at the Mina House, one of the hundred most interesting places in the world, according to the Time Magazine. The top of the line, you can, you can, you can stay at the Mina. You can stay at another Marriott Hotel, the La Meridian, also a five-star hotel, but not at the level of the Mina, or you can stay at the House of Life, one of the many places, there's about 250 beds, if, if you like the, the organic and raw, you know, close to the camels, close to the horses, you know, you get the smell of nature here in Giza, there's about 250 hostels, bed and breakfasts, you know, simple apartments, you can, you can dial in at that level, so you can kind of, you know, adjust your price level on this tour. I don't know of other places where you can do that. And, uh, you know, you're gonna you're gonna be in an intimate group. It's a small group. I'm only allowing so many people on this tour. I got two more spots. I hope if you're watching this and you know you're being spoken to that you contact me and come join us. I'm also available to give uh, private tours. Uh, if you're thinking about you know coming to Egypt, you're not sure who to go with, what to do. You know, contact me. I give I give private tours. I've got this tour scheduled next month. The Orion Correlation Tour, April 19th through 25th. We've got one in November, November 1st through the 9th of uh, 2020. Or you can you can contact me individually. So come to Egypt, learn the secrets. AIP, Larry Paul, on Instagram, I'm Sage Silent. Thanks for watching.